Outdoor Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Maple Ridge Chrysler, Lowrance, Duncan Village, Fort Boathouse, BC Outdoors Magazine, and Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. Wow, we got a special show. I got my two daughters here, Marley and Madeline. Girls, welcome to the show. Uh -huh. This is Marley, this is your second time, or third? Second. Second, all right. And this is your first, Madeline. Okay, excited? Yeah. Awesome. Then we'll turn around this way and we'll introduce Samantha and Sam from Nooka Marine Adventures, right? Yeah, thanks. Welcome, okay. Mike. Good to have you again. So, Samantha, why don't you start and why don't you let us know where we are, how we get here, and all the good stuff about this place. This is awesome. Mike, I would love to. Uh, today we find ourselves at beautiful Mucha Bay Resort. We're in the heart of Nooka Sound, which of course is accessible by road. If you head west over from Campbell River on Vancouver Island, uh, our resort is very much a pick your own adventure kind of place. Uh, we offer campsites, mm -hmm. 40 of them. Uh, we offer a main lodge hotel, and best of all, we have yurts and chalets right on the waterfront. Mm -hmm. uh, our amenities are endless. Uh, we have an 80-slip 80 80 marina uh, at our disposal, a full-service restaurant, uh, and our wonderful certified fish processing facility. So truly a choose-your-own-adventure, um, come and do as you please. We've got it for you. And again, so we have, again, we brought our own boat in today. There's lots of people that brought their own boats in to be. You guys have a full guide fleet as well. Absolutely. Lots of guided opportunities too, Sam. And that's yeah. kind of where you come in, right? You're the, yeah. the main cheese here for guiding, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. So my title is the Marine Operations Coordinator. So Ooh. I oversee uh, the full guide fleet and, okay. and all of our uh, guide staff. So fishing-wise, middle, yeah. of, middle of July here, just before the opening on the outside, which is, that's fine. So mm -hmm. we're, we're restricted to a mile offshore only and, and inshore so we fish inshore from that yeah what right. can we expect for fishing yeah so i think we're going to try uh for a variety of species while we're mm -hmm. here uh, over the next couple days mike so uh we're, we're hoping to run into some chinooks and you know we'll do a little bit of jigging for lingcod and yep. rockfish local to nooka sound um i think we're gonna have some good opportunity for quite a variety all right there. are you guys uh do you have anything on your bucket list you want to scratch off yeah. chinook lingcod I don't really know anything. So. No, you're just gonna go catch some fish. <laughs> Sounds good. What about you? Salmon. Salmon. You want to catch salmon? Salmon. All right. All right. Well, we're working on that. The pressure's they on. They say they fight. So. They do. They do fight pretty good. <laughs> yeah, really good. All right. Well, so plan is tomorrow morning early. Get yeah. off the dock. Yeah, off the dock at 6 a.m. and we'll get right to it. Okay. Sound good, girls? Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Reel's gonna spin backwards. Just take no, your hand out. Your hand. Of there. Oh. Get your hand out. Get your hand out of there. Your right hand. Get your hand out of there. Out of there. Like this. There we go. Put that in your hip. Hold up. No, no. Just wait. That's a good fish. Hold your rod up here. Do you want me to hold this or not? Are you good? Okay. Oh, okay. Watch, okay. Okay, watch your rod. He's on surface there now. Good job. I'm gonna let go. Okay. You got it, kiddo. Okay. Right on. Good job, there we go. I can see the flash fly in its mouth. Real fast, 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 fast. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice Chinook. Oh, look at him, he's, been, he's got a bite out of him. Yeah, he does. That's a nice fish. Okay, nice watch fish. if he's gonna go here. Be careful, okay? Lift up. Okay, let go. Hand off the reel, hand off the reel. 
There you go, kiddo. Good. Oh, oh Garrett, he's going to go again. Here we go. Good job. Reel just a little bit more. Yeah. And lift up. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Yeah, Woo! look at that. That's your first salmon. <laughs> yeah, you can take your hand off the reel, kiddo. <laughs> Good job, kid. Wow, nice fish. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to keep this on because it's actually got in the eye here, so this guy's got to be kept. What, dude? This guy's been through the ringer, though. Look at him. He's he been, sure has. He's, somebody's got all of them. That's a look at that fish, Madeline. Beauty. That's okay, nice Madge, you can grab the bonker. Yahoo! Hey, hey. Oh, the bonker. <laughs> <laughs> there I'll you go. One. I'll take one of those too. Nicely done. <laughs> Look at that, Mike. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at that. Hold them. So, yeah, there you go. Hold them like that, okay? That's your first Chinook, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, good. Oh, I'll get your hand. Slimey. Hold on, I got to tap here. All right. Excellent. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. Ridge Chrysler. We're closer than you think. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, she's, she's going down. You might see the tail here. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I just, yeah, you got it. What am I? You've done this before. Release the baler and you just let it go until it stops and hits bottom. Once it hits the bottom, you just re-engage it, and then you can start jigging. Yeah, there you go. There you go, all right. You got one? Holy! <laughs> did, did it scare you when it bit a little? No. <laughs> well, let's see what it is. Oh, it's a lingcod. Okay, hold on, keep him in the water. Let's see the size of that. Way to go. Nice. Did you drop down and catch some more? Yeah. Okay, we'll throw him in the box here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's there. <laughs> hold on, hold on, he's going. All right. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> oh, there you go. Hold on, hold the rod. There you go, you got it. That's a good fish. You're doing a really good job. Why is it so far down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, look at that, it's a different fish. Right on. That's a, that's a copper rockfish. Oh, tiny one. Look at that. Copper rockfish. He's got to be careful because these, these spines right here are, are his defense mechanism. Yeah. yeah, they're a lot like a bass, how you can hold them. Yeah. He's got to feel the teeth. they got like sandpaper teeth. Feel that? They're not like sharp he's, like a ling. He's not, he's not no, going to bite you. Still alive? No, yeah, but just put it right there. Yeah, he's not going to bite you. Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 Nice. Oh. Good job. Good job. <laughs> oh, look, it's another lingcod. Oh, hold on. Keep his head down. Keep it. That's a good size one. Oh, oh yeah. Keep it there. Keep it in the water. That's a good fish. All right. Fish on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> that scared you, huh? <laughs> So well, that's a quillback rockfish. Huh, there's quite the resemblance. Right on, nice fish. <laughs> there we go, beautiful. <laughs> Hold on tight, kid. 
There you go. Good job. Nice. Quillback rock band. <laughs> That's why they call it the quillback. They're pretty nasty. Cool. Cool. Very well, cool. he's in good health. Yeah. Let that guy go. He'll float okay. there. Watch this. He'll float for a second, then go. There he goes. And down, down. Down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what Whoa, was that? that? That was fast. Yeah! Oh, oh, look at look that. At that. Is so, that a yellow eye? It sure is. So oh, we got a descending unit on we here. Got, yeah, we got to put this guy back. That is his swim bladder. Unfortunately, with these guys, one of the challenging things that happens is they spend their whole life at the bottom. Unlike some of the other rockfish species that will swim and move around in the water table, these guys just stay on the bottom. So when we bring them up, we're not we're trying not to catch them, but every once in a while you do catch one and they're a species at risk. So we're gonna do everything we can to put this fish back to the bottom. It's on the side of the lip here usually, right? Yeah. So we're gonna set this to the medium setting. Yeah. I can get that to, there we go. We're gonna set it to 100 feet and away he goes. Yeah, we just, take it nice and slow going down too. Slowly get him down to 100 feet. I don't see him. He's gone. There you go. Right on. Let's That's see cool what fish. happened. Those are one of my we had that clipped catch. onto his lips, and when it hit 100 feet, this just opened up. Yeah. Very cool. Go. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. It's called the Tai Mother. Holy man, look at that. The brass inlays represent the eggs inside her and the eggs she lays. <laughs> in the first year of our program in 2008, one person released their Tai salmon. This year, 93 to 97. Marley pulling the IP pulls his lead off right up. We're gonna get this one out of the way now. That's it, Marley. Hand on the bottom of the reel, just palm it. There you go. Keep the rod up, keep the rod up, honey. Great job. Oh my god. Here, say bye bye. It's going. It's a good one. Come on. Yeah, keep that rod up. There you go, honey. Good job. Keep the rod up. There you go. Great. You're doing awesome right now. That's it. Keep what? Rod tip up. Flasher. He's swimming with you right now, so keep going real faster. There you go. Rod tip up. Oh yeah, there we go. Keep reeling, keep oh, reeling, wow. keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh wow. Look at that fish. You reeled that in. Look at here. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> We're gonna keep this guy? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that fish. Oh my god. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, let's welcome him aboard. Yes. Marley, you're going to practice your bunting skills. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. So we're going to hold him like this. Wrist on. Hold the wrist. And then like that. Hey, what do you think? How's it feel? Heavy, let's go. <laughs> heavy, heavy, let's go. And now, here's a look at today's tackle and gear. Well, folks, we're going to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, we'll start out with our salmon fishing gear. I should say the over the last couple of days we've been using, right? Yeah. So uh, we'll talk about salmon gear. Uh, these are legacy mooching rods. They're brand new last year. Um, and these are 10 foot six um, rods. Real great action on the tip. You can detect those little bites. We've had some shakers on, some rockfish. Yeah. When I say rockfish, they're very small rockfish too. Yeah, so yeah they have. The little tips, we gotta, we, it's great to detect those. We get them off clear lines and get back down to what we're doing, right? Um, the reels are legacy reels. Uh, again, great, great setup, great pairing. Um, uh, one we've used this one now for the last two years, so we've had no problems with it. It's fantastic. Yeah, fantastic they served us well. Uh, brand new Suffolk line. This is brand new on the market this year. It's Tangerine Neon, we'll call it. Um, this is 30 pound test, which is five pounds heavier than I normally use, but it's great for tying knots and stuff. I haven't had any issues and it's been great. Right? Yeah, it's done the trick for sure. Nice and nice and visible too, right? I'll put that aside here and then we'll talk, let's talk about flashers and leader sizes and all the other stuff, right? And that's some of the questions that people always ask is, you know, you come into stuff like how long of a leader, color flasher, does it matter? Uh, size of baits and spoons, right? But here's the gamut of stuff that we've run, and we had to go through the boat yeah. to, to dig some fish out over the last couple yeah, days. We, we pretty well went through all the tackle yeah, boxes. But it's funny though, because it comes back down to stuff that that we've been using most of the time up here, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, we got some nice fish on the anchovies. We switched up to the micro flasher, and I don't know if many people use those now. They probably see them in the store and think that they're something that shrunk in the packaging maybe, but <laughs> don't walk by them. Yeah. Grab a couple for your boat. It's just a different action. It's something different, right? You talked yeah. about it at Camel Rock. There's so many boats there right now and fish are staging. Sometimes it's something different, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. If you can, uh, you know, if you can try to try to just give the fish something different to look at, even, yeah. even just a little bit, it can be the same colors or yeah. similar pattern, uh, whether it's a shorter leader or yeah. a longer leader, yeah. smaller flasher, yeah. as, as long as, you know, if they're getting gear going by them all day all day long and then so finally something different comes along that yeah. can be what it takes to separate you from yeah. from the rest of the herd. and again that's part of the reason too why i like dying anchovies too um, yeah. you know the scent that comes off those anchovies now the look and and just the action of them just there's something different up there right so, yeah they and they work yeah they, they do for they, sure we've, we've shown for that sure. again and then we so. again the regular size flashers uh kitchen sink spoon two different flash flies we actually have a third flash fly but unfortunately we lost that one uh, to a fish, we yeah. had an unfortunate incident. <laughs> it happens. That's all right. It's all uh, part of it. Yeah. So uh, the two green flash fly. This is just a white glow, and then to the fifteen hundred, which is like a purple UV glow white. That's right. right I should say. So it's a white with a purple UV in it too. So uh, that's it. So again, flashers there. And uh, then we talk about we did a little bit of uh, jigging for the girls, and they had lots of fun, right? So yeah. <laughs> so, so anytime you can get a chance to get the kids out, do a little jigging because it's always something new that comes up, right? So that's right. Yeah, something to keep them entertained. Yeah. Right? It's, we so, just ran with the four inch little swim baits here from Lighthouse Lures and these work really well. You can see this one's been been through. You can see some of the some of the teeth marks on it still from, from catching fish, right? So these come in different colors. This one just happened to be one of the ones that was left. We did lose a couple on the bottom. Yeah, we had a couple <laughs> that's snags. Part, that's part of it, right? But, yep, exactly. Uh, uh, this was the one that, that made it through. But we caught lots of fish on this, Ling and uh, some other thing. We caught a yellow eye inside and got to use a descender on it, right? We so, did, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Um, and then to the rods today, we, I just put hooked them up with spinning rods. We found um, through that, that these are just going to be a little little more forgiving for the kids, right? With spinning rods being real easy to use, right? That's right. These are the new 13 rods. These are, uh, this is the Fate Steel. It's an 8.6 uh, salmon rod, actually. And um, it's got lots of bend in it. <laughs> and a couple of fish like, yeah. coming up, I'm like, oh, this is going to be massive. Yeah, it's it comes up, right yeah. over. But no no problems at all handling some of those bigger lings we got too, which is great, right? So For sure. Um, and the kids really enjoyed fishing them, and they got a nice long handle to get tucked under their arm for that jigging action. So yeah, it worked with, really well. With the spinning reel too, again, right? You're just, you're taking away the any likelihood of, of uh, a bird's nest yeah. or any kind of back spooling there yeah. when, when they're letting them down. 
yeah. just makes it more enjoyable for, for kids to yeah. you know, kind of a stress-free experience. Yeah, and I think one of the things we'll, we'll talk about, I think the thing that we use the most on this boat over the trip, you know, aside from the downriggers and motors and stuff, we were constantly eyeing that sounder, mm -hmm. looking for the bait, looking for the little pinnacles, looking for the things, and that really helped us, I think, was to get successful. We knew where the bait balls were so we could go back and track over them, and yeah. when we found the bait and the little pinnacles, we seemed to find fish, right? Yeah, so exactly. That was super important to us, right? So. Anyway, folks, we're going to follow up a quick list and I uh, hope to see you out on the water. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Bigger and better. The Lowrance Ultimate Fishing System upgrade now offers more. A new $200 rebate on active target live sonar and bigger savings with up to $1,200 cash back. Pick fish finding tools to fit the way you fish. From high performance sonar and ultra quiet ghost trolling motor to navigation and networking tools that bring it all together. Find more, see more, catch more. He wants to run, you let him go, okay? He's just shaking right now. He does not like that. There you go. There you go. Good job. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Screamer. Hand off the reel when he wants to go. There you go. There you go. You're doing awesome, kiddo. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I can't reach him. There, I got him! <laughs> oh, this one's like, look at this fish. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a beauty. Oh my god. Holy smokes! Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one. Nice. Hey. <laughs> Way to go, kid. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow, what a fight, kid. That almost blew it with the net job. Wow. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Put your arms out. Just put your arms out. Like a basket. What do you say? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, open up the box. I'm just I'm just sorry. I ain't crying in years. My little girls have all grown up. Come to daddy, girls. Come, come on. Come to daddy. I said come to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we cleaned up the boat. We had a look at both fish, and they look like they're twins, guys. I don't think we could have been any more fair. Hey, sibling rivalry, right? Way to go. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. How you feel? Good. How do you feel? Good. Yeah? Lots of fun? Yep. And Sam, thank you. Yeah, Fishy thanks. handshake there for you. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, it's you guys, been a pleasure. Yeah. Did you guys have a great time? Yeah. Yeah. And thank you folks for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. <laughs> girls are falling. No, no, no. Okay, put them in, yeah, in the box. Right on. <laughs> put them in the box. Put them in the box. <laughs>